Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a fantastic Friday thus far. And so of course we'll be looking at what is currently happening across the Caribbean region as well as what is expected as we're going to be progressing throughout the next few days. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so let's go ahead and get kick started with the satellite imagery. And so as we take a look at what is happening across the region, we can definitely see some activity in some areas, especially along the Greater Antilles and also in the southeastern Caribbean. We see all of that color. So when we have these maps being so colorful, that usually indicates convective activity, which is accompanied with a lot of showers and thunderstorms at times. So we have a lot of cloud cover seen in especially the Windward Islands, also over for the ABC Islands, uh, but not too much activity is expected within that area. Uh, things are a little bit on the clearer side for the Leeward Islands as well as Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. But as we head over to Hispaniola, the vicinity of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Jamaica and Eastern Cuba, we see a bit of activity there. And we also see those little patches of clouds over to the vicinity of the Cayman Islands. So uh, all that activity is being induced by a trough that is north of the region. Now we're going to be taking a look at that very shortly, but go Going over to the west, we can see that there isn't much activity uh, for the Yucatan, Belize, uh, Honduras, Nicaragua. All of those Central American territories not experiencing anything major at this time. And then as we go ahead and take a look at the vicinity north of the Caribbean, now take a look at this. We have a trough extended from Cuba out into the Atlantic. And so along it, here we have all of this shower and thunderstorm activity taking place. And this system here is looking pretty lopsided, pretty asymmetrical. Now that is likely as a result of the wind shear in the apparatus atmosphere displacing that activity to the east and so this is not something highlighted for potential development uh, and conditions are not highly conducive for that to happen either but of course I'm going to be keeping you guys updated on it so we have all this activity in association with this system and the low pressure area is expected to develop along it as we're going to be progressing into tomorrow so let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, forecast so this is the 24 hour surface chart forecast what is expected so there we have that trough which is represented by that line that black line and there we have that l to show a low pressure area developing and so low pressure areas are normally accompanied by inclement weather conditions a lot of showers and thunderstorms but a lot of this is going to be remaining offshore of anywhere and not to bring in any major impacts although most of us would appreciate some rainfall activity and as i speak about that let's go ahead and take a look at the rainfall expected as we're going to be heading into the next 24 hours so we'll be looking at the icon model and so we can see that most of the rainfall activity in the caribbean is expected in uh hispaniola specifically for the dominican republic and of course surrounding areas likely to receive some rainfall as well sections of the Cayman Islands maybe just some brief showers here and there Cuba most of Jamaica and some parts of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands looking over into the lesser Antilles we see an elevated chance of uh, rainfall activity for you guys again there's all that cloud cover over there and that could help to induce some of that rainfall but uh, over into the Western Caribbean we're seeing that things are going to be pretty dry so are you guys over in Central America not likely to experience much rainfall activity throughout the next 24 hours in the vicinity of the ABC Allos? We see maybe just a stray shower or so possible, uh, nothing too major for that area. But looking a bit more north on this map here, there we have all of that rainfall activity expected offshore but even in the vicinity of the turks and caicos islands and the bahamas so you guys there are likely going to be experiencing quite a bit of rainfall between now and tomorrow morning so uh please keep that in mind and i also want to go outside the caribbean region and go down to parts of northern central america specifically northeastern central america and here we can see that 
a lot of rainfall activity for these areas, which is typical at this time of year. We see uh, the intertropical convergence zone usually becomes very active and that is what induces so much shower and thunderstorm activity because the trade winds of the north and south meet uh, near the equator and of course closer to the equator we have warmer uh, conditions. So all of that warmth and moisture is going to result in that air rising, cool and condensing to form clouds and that continuous pattern is something very prevalent so that is what induces so much rainfall activity for these areas so uh, Venezuela, Brazil, Guyana, French Guiana, Suriname you guys are going to be experiencing quite a bit of rainfall activity and remember guys in the event of heavy rainfall please take all the necessary precautions and do not take any unnecessary risks and so in terms of how conducive conditions are for that uh, system to develop in the Atlantic. So looking at these sea surface temperatures here, we're not seeing where they are highly favorable. So we see mainly a 25 degrees Celsius isotherm, 24 degrees Celsius in some spots, but the ideal conditions would be 26 degrees Celsius at the minimum in terms of the sea surface temperatures. And then of course we have that wind shear that I mentioned earlier helping to displace activity to the east where we have those oranges and shades of red is where we have stronger wind shear which would really help to suppress any form of development but even if something should develop it is going to be offshore but i see a very low chance of that happening at this point in time guys so that is what is going on right now and of course i'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by and so i hope that you found this video to be quite informative however if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be weatherwise